Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make this bracelet. I call it the Ella bracelet after my friend Ella. And yes, for a while I will be naming bracelets after my friends. So, for this bracelet, you're going to need per diamond 14 brown bands, 10 gold ones, and 10 green ones. And that's per diamond. And I use 5 diamonds, so you'd multiply all that by. Five. So let's get started. You're going to need a loom that can be set like this, so most looms will do. And you'll only be using like a diamond portion on the loom, so you can make this bracelet go all around your wrist with just one loom. So to start, you take your first color, your brown, which I am using black for, and then you make your diamond. So you put one here. And then on the other side. And then you're going to make an X down the middle. And then you're going to be finishing your diamond like normal. Like that. And then you're going to be filling in each of these little smaller diamonds. So the first color I'm going to use is sparkly white. So you're going to have to do like a special thing with your hook for this. I'm going to take your white, make it a cap band on your hook, and then take another white, pull it through like a single. And then take this cap band. Put it right back on your hook, but hold your finger on these other two loops. You just want to keep them as far away from that cap band as possible. And then, with just your cap band, you're going to take one more white band. Pull the cap band through. So it looks like this. And then you're going to put it on your loom. So you're going to take just half this single off and then... Hold it like this, and then on this top diamond is where you're going to put it. So it should look like that. And then you're going to take one more white band, go under this cap band, grab it, and pull it through. And then you're going to place this loop on this pick and then we're going to go inside again grab this band and pull it through and put it on this pick so you're going to repeat that process for the next four, three diamonds so I'm going to start using my next color which is light blue and I'm going to do the same thing, pretty much. Cat band. And then pull one band through. And then put your finger on these two blue. Take your cat band and put it back on your hook. Then take another blue, pull it through just the cap band, so it looks like that. And then take off the first loop, 
first two loops. So it looks like that. Then put it on this peg. And then on this peg. And then do the same thing that you did with the glittery white. Go in here. Grab the blue. Pull it through. And put it on the bottom peg. And same with the top one. Like that. And then do it on the bottom, and then here. So I'm going to take more glittery white. And then you do your very last diamond. Make a cap band. Pull one through. Take the cap band, put it back on. Pull another one through. And then take this off, put it on these two pegs, and then the bottom one, and the top one. So it should look something like this. And then, at the very tip of your diamond, you're going to take this top silver off, glitter off, put on a cap band, and then put your glitter back on. Because I like my cap band right in the middle of everything. And then you flip your loom. I'm going to have to tilt it a tiny bit to show you but it should look like this. And now you can start looping. So you go underneath this cap band and glitter band, grab the top black, pull it up, do the same thing again, over here, go underneath all these bands, grab the top black, Pull it up, go underneath all these bands, grab the top black, and pull it up. So it should look something like this. And then, go into this peg again, grab the last black, pull it in, and then you go underneath all these bands, grab the black, pull it in. And then, going to go underneath all these bands, going to grab the top black. Might be a bit hard. And then pull it up here. 
then do it again. And then pull the black there. And then you finish your diamond. So you go into this peg, grab the top back, pull over here, do the same thing again. And then do the same thing over here. And then at the very end, you're going to go one second. Okay. You're going to go underneath all these bands. Grab a black band. And then pull it through. And then take your diamond off your them. Rather carefully because you got lots of bands on all these pegs. Jeez. Like I said, be careful. <laughs> and then your diamond should look something like this. And then you take your C-clip and you temporarily clip it. And then set it off to the side. And now you're going to repeat almost the same process again. Same placing of bands, same everything, same looping, except instead of using another cat band, we're going to use this black band like it's a cat band. So I'm going to show you everything again, and if you need more explanation, you're going to have to rewind to earlier, but this time I'll go a bit faster and I won't explain.
gluten free. Mm hmm. You know I'm still recording, right? Oh, sorry. <laughs> My fingers are all glittery from those glitter bands. In case you were wondering what my brother was doing, he was getting himself a salad. Because that's much more important than my video. Okay. So, after that, you got this little black band right here and you're going to put it on just like you did the cat band earlier I think pretty sure let me look at my bracelet hmm well I think it goes outside of the glitter bands so you're yeah I remember now you do that so you take these two glitter bands right here and you temporarily just put them on this peg And then you take your black bands and you got to make sure before doing this that since the diamond, try to explain this well, since the diamond is going to end with the band going from here to here being underneath the band going from here to here, that you're going to want to have this band on top when you place it. So this is the wrong side so I'm going to flip it. And then you see that indeed this band is on top. So that's important because one side goes like scrunches in more than the other one so you don't want to have a weird looking bracelet because of that. So since I've got it in the right direction, right band on top, I'm just going to take this bottom black band out of the C-clip. I'm going to put it in this peg right here, where the cat band would be. Put the other black band over here. And then you take your C-clip off. There we go. So it should look like this. And then you can put your glitter bands back on. like they were before and then you take this other end of the black and then you pull it over like that so it should sort of be dangling off the end like that and then you just loop it normally as you would go underneath all these bands, grab the top black pull it up Go this way. And then keep going just as usual. And again, you can rewind if you need more explanation.
Then you go underneath all these bands. Take a black. And then pull it through. And then you take your diamond off the line. Why does my tripod not like me today? Jeez. It literally just fell over and the leg scrunched in for no reason. Why does it do that? Gosh. Tripod, I can throw you in the garbage disposal, you know that, right? I'm sorry guys, I get angry at inanimate objects. I'm gonna take this metal row out, it'll be easier for me. So yeah, if you can take your middle row out, it makes it a lot easier to get off. Gosh darn it, C-clip. The inanimate objects don't like me today. But anyways, it should look something like this. And then, you repeat the process used for the second diamond until your bracelet's long enough, and I'm just gonna pretend that it's long enough and show you how to finish it. So you take your C-clip, and then you find your two black on your hook, you clip it, and then find the cat band on the other end, and then you clip that. I think I just made a ring, so there's your bracelet that's too short for me, so I'm making it a ring. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.